kid, um, just a little confused. My, as you can see, desk is not looking like it normally does. This book is upside down. It doesn't even look like the book I was gonna read today. Oh, hey, 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 sorry, Tyler. I just happen to be in the neighborhood. <laughs> well, yeah, Green Bear, you live here. Uh, I was just about to get started. Do you know where the book I had was? Um, um, about that. What? Well, you know how you said that whenever I find a book that I really, really love, I should bring it to you? Yes, but I didn't mean for you to bring me a book and take away my other book. Oh, uh, sorry. I was unclear on the instructions, but here's my book. Uh, wait, where are you going? Okay, it's a Green Bear selection. Let's see what he's got for us. What? No, Green Bear! Gre Green Bear! <clears throat> uh, uh, you, you rang? What? Why are you looking at me like that? You can't, can't believe you brought me a book where I'm going to have to say fart. Fart. Farty. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, oh, did you say that? I didn't notice. Oh, that's weird. Where are you going? Well, you're here. I'm here. The book is here. So I guess we should read it. Is that a yes? You really want me to read this? <sighs> okay, fine, fine. I'll do it for you and the green one over there. Super Farty Pants. And there's the title again, Super Farty Pants. One beautiful sunny day, Amelia, oh hey Amelia, was playing in the garden when she spotted a strange looking bug. What a strange looking bug, said Amelia. That is a very strange looking bug. It has it's like a long nose. That's kind of unusual. Oh, who are you calling strange? Said the little bug. Oh, it's a talking bug. Uh, oops, sorry. And I'm not a bug. And it's not a bug. We've offended it two times. Then what are you? Asked Amelia. I'm the fairy super godmother. Fairy super godmother? What, what's that? Well, I'm like a fairy godmother and can grant you one wish. Well, as long as that wish is to be a superhero, of course. Oh, so like a one wish type of fairy godmother? Like one only does like poofy dresses for, for balls at the castle and then another one only makes superheroes? I mean, I don't know the superhero fairy rules, but that, 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 that makes sense, right? I want to be a superhero, cried Amelia. Well, of course, who doesn't if you are given the opportunity? Are you sure? Asked the fairy super godmother. With great power comes great responsibility. Amelia wasn't sure what that meant, but she really did want to be a superhero, so she said as much. Well, okay then, I just swish my wand like this. Swish! And say the magic words. Abracadabra duper. Let Amelia be super. And with a puff of smoke, I wasn't expecting that. Woo -hoo. The fairy super godmother, who was most certainly not a strange looking bug, disappeared. Oh, in the puff of smoke. How mysterious. Amelia paused a second and then looked at herself. She looked at her hands. She looked at her legs. She even looked at her bum. Bum. I don't look any different, thought Amelia. And I don't feel any different. I wonder what kind of superpower I have. Hmm, <gasps> maybe I'm invisible. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, and a super sneaky one too. Amelia went inside the house and tried sneaking. What did I tell you? That's a sneaky superpower. Sneaking past her mummy to get some sweets. Okay, pause for a moment. That's British English. That's why they call a mummy a mummy. Here in the United States, we call a mummy that, a thing that may be dead and dresses in bandages, just for clarification. So mummy, the human motherly kind, says, hold up, uh, where do you think you're going? No sweets until Saturday, Saturday, like once, okay, those are the rules, okay. Well, I guess I'm not invisible, thought Amelia, and skulk off to the living room. Oh, so much for that power. Oh, then she had another idea. Maybe I'm super fast. Amelia decided to try by running as fast as she could across the living room to the hallway, Choo! and halfway there, boom, 
She crashed into Daddy. Whoa there, Speedy. Where are you off to in such a hurry? I'm trying to find out if I'm super fast, answered Amelia. Super clumsy, more like it. And they laughed and rolled around on the floor. Now, a little later, everyone was in the kitchen having a lovely dinner. Mummy, not this kind, mommy, but this kind, mommy. Mummy and Daddy, Amelia, and little sister Luna <laughs> were all there thinking, and Amelia was thinking about the fairy super godmother, which was not a strange looking bug at all. No, we take that all back. I have some vegetables, said Daddy. They'll make you nice and strong. Yucky, said Amelia. She hated vegetables. I understand. But then she had another idea. Maybe if I eat all my vegetables, I won't just be strong. I'll be super strong. So, interesting experiment. Amelia ate all the peas, all the carrots, even all the broccoli. Finished, said Amelia, holding up her plate proudly. Mommy, not this one, mommy. Daddy and Luna were amazed. After dinner, though, Amelia didn't feel any stronger. Super fairy godmother? More like stupid fairy godmother. Oh, no, she didn't. Said Amelia, she stomped off to the garden to find the strange looking bug. Are we calling it a strange looking bug again? I thought that that was against the rules. I'm so nervous because what if this super bug gets like upset and does something weird? I don't know. Outside, she heard someone crying. Oh, it was a little boy next door. What's wrong? Asked Amelia. My cat. Yeah. Is stuck up in that tree. Yes, yes, two tone. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sure. I'm sure that that she's gonna come to the rescue. I know we don't know what the superpower is, but well, this is a kind of moment that tests superheroes, does it not? Yes, I know. I'm hoping so too. So the apparently the adorable little purple cat had climbed up the tree chasing a squirrel, and now he can't make it down again. Amelia looked up, and there at the top. The tree was a great big tabby cat, Meow, said the cat. It looks so cute and small and purple, but we'll call it a great big tabby cat. Amelia really wanted to help, but she didn't know what to do. And then suddenly, uh-oh, uh-oh, her belly started to feel funny. Like, you know, like sometimes your belly goes like that. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten all those vegetables, thought Amelia. Oh no, tummy ache. First there was a rumble. And then a grumble. It's about to happen! It's about to happen! And then a gurgle, 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 before Amelia let out a giant. Giant. <laughs> oh, thank goodness this is not smell a vision. Believe me, you're glad right now. Oh no. Let's get air out of this room. Amelia looked down and realized that she was flying. What? What? It wasn't just a fart, it was a super fart. Super fart! She'd found her special power. That's exactly superpower I want to have. <laughs> Amelia decided to try out her new power. So with a big prompt, she flew to the top of the tree and rescued the great big tiny little purple tabby cat. <laughs> wow, said the boy. You're a real superhero. I guess I am. <gasps> you can call me Super Farty Pants! Super Farty Pants! That's the superhero for the modern green bear. <laughs> mm, that's true. Amelia said goodbye before letting out a little toot and flying off. Toot, tweet, tweet, tweet. So these are tweeting and this one's tooting. Okay. Thank you, Super Farty Pants, cried out the boy. Ying! Cried out the cat. Amelia was flying and farting, farting and flying, when suddenly she heard a familiar sound. Eno, eno, eno. It was a police car, and they looked like they were in a hurry. She flew down, as superheroes do, to see what was going on. Up ahead, a crowd of people were standing around nervously looking at the cake shop. Oh no, is that a robbery in progress? Is that what we're seeing right now? An old woman pointed and shouted, That naughty man is robbing those delicious cakes! Oh no! Oh no! Somebody stop him! That is a crime! You're so right, Abuela 
Bear, that is a terrible crime. This was a jaw for who? Da 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 da! Shimmer Funny Pants! Amelia flew into the cake shop and with a big bottom burp, a big bottom burp, blew the robber right out of the shop and straight into the arms of the policeman. You're coming with us. Back to the station. Everything you do and say will be held against you, including that delicious cake. The policeman took away the robber, and the owner of the cake shop was so happy, mamma mia, that he rewarded Amelia with a giant chocolate cake. A giant chocolate cake! See, this is why it's good to be super farty pants. Oh, I agree with that. Amelia loved chocolate cake. Who doesn't love chocolate cake? Excuse me, said a reporter nearby. Who are you? You can call me super farty pants. Wow. Get a photo. Oh, can I interview you? I I have got, and I'm gonna quote you for the local uh, gazette. And with that, whoosh, Amelia let out a loud, large, loud, blah, 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 loud fart and flew home. See, my tongue doesn't even want to say the word, but I just have to push on for you because this is what you want, right? Very tired from all her superhero exploits, Amelia slept beautifully that night. The next morning, she had almost forgotten about her superpowers and the adventures of the previous day. Oh, it was probably just a silly dream, she thought, as she got herself dressed before going downstairs for breakfast. Daddy was already reading a newspaper. H have you seen the news, Mummy? <clears throat> Remember, not the R, but the Mummy. They say there was a robbery at the cake shop and that a superhero came and saved the day. Oh, what were they called? Super Farty Pants, cried out Amelia, giggling. Mommy and Daddy looked at Amelia questioningly, like so. Hmm. And the other one, hmm. And Luna, hmm. So, Mommy asked, what would you like for dinner later? Vegetables, cried at Amelia, and she let out a little <laughs> And that was super funny pants, and that was so awesome, and I, I'm gonna go, I, I wanna go have vegetables now for, for dinner, okay, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, and you, Two-Tone, you also want vegetables for, for dinner? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, gosh, it's gonna be a, a rough, Night. Oh, do, 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 do. oh, a well bear, where are you going in such a hurry? Oh, everybody's asking me for vegetables for tonight. I don't know what you did, storyteller, but everybody's going to have their wonderful vegetables and I don't even have to make them eat it. Isn't that amazing? La, 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 la. Oh, yes, it's amazing. Well, kid, <clears throat> I will see you next time on Kid Time Story Time if I survive tonight. <laughs>